हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द मैप ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस अलजबरा प्रॉब्लम सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हेयर वी कैन फोकस इन द राइट हैंड साइड एंड यू कैन सी हेयर एट टू द पावर ऑफ एम प्लस टू टू द पावर ऑफ एम इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड वी विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द रियल रूट्स और रियल वैल्यूज ऑफ एम ओके सो दैट here uh, i can focus in the left hand side and i can write 8 as 2 to the power of 3 and whole power m plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 10 and after that uh, i can apply uh, the well known exponent law so that uh, we know we know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n so it is equal to a to the power of m times of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m it means that we can just interchange its exponent and we will give uh, the same value okay so now here i can uh, interchange its exponents and i will write it as 2 to the power of m cubed plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 10 and now we can uh, write this expression in simplified form so that uh, i will take y is equal to 2 to the power of m so when we take y is equal to 2 to the power of m so this expression will becomes in cubic uh, cubic equation so it will becomes y cubed plus y is equal to 10 and here we can take 10 from the right hand side to the left hand side and we will get y cubed plus y minus 10 is equal to 0 now we will make the factors of this cubic equation and we can write uh, this as y cubed and we can write this plus y as minus 4y and plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0 so when you can uh, we you can add minus 4 and plus 5 so it will becomes plus y and now we can take common y from the first terms and we get y square minus 4 and here we take common 5 and we get y minus 2 is equal to 0 and after that we have y times of here we can apply the uh, the well known identity and you know that if we have a square minus b square then it is equal to a minus b times of a plus b so we can apply this identity here and here you write just uh, this four as 3 square so that we have y square minus 2 square plus 5 into y minus 2 is equal to 0 and now we can apply this identity here and we get y minus 2 times of y plus 2 plus 5 times of y minus 2 is equal to 0 now we can take common y minus 2 from each expression and we get y minus 2 times of y into y plus 2 and plus 5 is equal to 0 and here we simplify this term and we get y minus 2 times of y square plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 now uh, here we have two cases the first case is we take y minus 2 is equal to 0 and the other case is we take y square plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 so now we can find the roots real roots from these factors only and here we have the value of y is equal to 2 and you remember in the start of the question we take y is equal to 2 to the power of m so we can uh, we can Uh, again back substitute the value of y so it will becomes 2 to the power of m is equal to 2 and we can write it as here you can see in the right hand side the power or exponent of 2 is 
so that the bases on both of the sides are same so these are gone and finally we get the first root of the given equation is m is equal to 1 so now uh, to find uh, the other real roots uh, now first we will check uh, this quadratic equation uh, how uh, is its this quad quadratic equation has real roots or not first we check this equation has real roots or not so uh, uh, we check uh, the roots by uh, using the discriminant formula and you know that or the delta is equal to b square minus 4ac and now we can uh, we can substitute the values of a b and c from here and you can see that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5 so we substitute these values in delta and we get uh, the 2 b square so b is 2 so it will becomes 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 5 so this will becomes 4 minus 20 is equal to minus 60 and you can see here our delta is less than 0 so we can say that uh, this quadratic equation has complex roots okay this equation has real roots in that case if our delta is greater or equal to 0 but here is our delta is less than 0 so we can say that over this equation has complex root but we need here only real roots so we can rejected these roots and we can just proceed or we can just consider uh, this real root only okay so we only have m is equal to 1 be the root of the given equation and now we can check uh, is this is satisfy the given equation or not and you can you can see here the given equation is 8 to the power of m plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 10 and now we can put this m is equal to 1 here and you get 8 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 10 and when you can add a plus 2 which is equal to 10 is equal to 10 so this shows that m is equal to 1 be the is satisfied the given equation so m is equal to 1 be the only real root of this equation so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos